wanting to record this video for quite a bit now, um, ever since I got back from travelling, and I think um, this is really the main reason why I wanted to start a YouTube channel, um, because there's two types of video that I love. I love um, sketchbook tours and I love um, travel videos. So I'm bringing a combination of both um, on this video. So this is the sketchbook um, that I use on my latest big trip um, to Asia. So me and Tom travel around Southeast Asia for just over four weeks. Um, and it was the first time since I've been drawing uh, that I decided to take a sketchbook and materials and all that sort of stuff. Well, anyway, I'm gonna get to it and not just talk. So the first drawing that I did um, is this one. So our first stop was Hong Kong and I was just in love with it. Um, everything was just so different and I don't know, I know that Hong Kong can, can be considered to be really um, western compared to the rest of Asia, but for me, coming from Latin America and living in Europe, it was such a um, shock. I mean, not shock, but um, it was so different to everything that I've experienced before and that was just amazing. And the next day, also in Hong Kong, we went to the Temple of the Ten Thousand Buddhas. If you can see, um, it doesn't have my usual hatching uh, to give it depth. It only has like some light grey colour um, to give it some sort of shading because, um, I don't know, it was just so peaceful and so white and so crisp that I just wanted to, to keep that there. Um, my other drawing is this one about the New Year. So when we travel, it was the lunar, yeah, lunar uh, New Year, and it was in full celebration. So everyone was buying flowers and fruit and all sorts of things to celebrate, and I was just really inspired by that. So I wrote a little bit um, about our experience um, there, and yeah, it was really good. This drawing I did on a plane. We had a super, super, super stressful day in um, Hong Kong airport where we were meant to be going to, to Vietnam but it was the start of Tet and being Chilean and the wonders of being Chilean was that I didn't know that I needed a visa to go to Vietnam. Big schoolboy error, I don't know how we missed that, I thought we had researched all that but obviously we didn't. Um, so the thing is we got to the airport and we were told that we couldn't go because it was the start of Tet and uh, they wouldn't issue any visas for about 10 days. Um, so we had to think on our feet and we embarked this plane to Bangkok instead. So instead of um, going to sleep at the hostel that we have already booked um, and going on a trip to Katba the next day, we ended up arriving in Bangkok, not knowing where to go, catching a taxi and just like arriving at the first hostel that had a spare bed. So that was it, it was a bit stressful, so I just grabbed the airport magazine and I started doodling away inspired by the cover, which was based on the um, fire monkey, is it the fire monkey this year? Well, it is the year of the monkey, so it was inspired by that. In Thailand, we were only there for a short period, we were mainly in Bangkok, we did go back to Thailand after. Um, so we did visit some of the temples uh, in the city and that was really cool, I really enjoyed it. And sometimes I just wanted to sit down, I was so overwhelmed by all the beauty and I wanted to draw everything but I really found it really hard just to focus on one thing. So I drew this um, as a result of that. I don't think it was the most exciting thing to draw, I think like sometimes I could have picked um, a more interesting subject but it was just so overwhelming to see everything and just wanting to draw everything and knowing that there was no time, that it was boiling hot, that there was Thai food around the corner um, to be tasted so in the end I just chose something that I thought was really attainable that I could accomplish in a short period of time so that's what I did. After Bangkok we went to Cambodia and we visited the Angkor um, Wat temple um, which was quite amazing and we saw the sunrise there. So this drone was made while um, the sun was coming up, so at the beginning, because the sun was behind the temple, um, I couldn't see the shape, you could just see like the outline of it, like the shape of it, so I drew that. And then as the sun was, the sun was, was rising, I started drawing more and more of the detail that I could see. 
um, until the end. Like it's quite, it's not a finished drawing, and I used a really, really light um, grey colour. Um, so it's not very visible, but it does have lots of detail. And next drawing is also for, from Angkor, but a different temple is this one. And this one is not that exciting, it's just it's just okay, I think. But what was funny about it is that I just did the outline um, there while I was sitting, resting a little bit from, and escaping from the heat. Um, but then I finished all the shading and all of that um, at a restaurant having breakfast and then the waiter just came up to us and he was quite amazed by it and recognised it and told me what it was called. So I asked him um, what the name of the temple was and he told me, I said, could you write it down? But I meant, could you write it down in Thai? And he um, ran away with it, started asking all his colleagues how to translate this thing into English and he got really, I don't know, he was trying to be really pleasing but at the same time um, he got really stressed and I feel really sorry for him uh, because that's not really what I was expecting. And when he came back, he has he had put all his fingers and all his colleagues um, across the drawing, so there were marks like that all over this, and it was just completely ruined. I had to fix it all over. I was, I was my heart just broke when he brought it back, and it was like that. Oh, this next one is from uh, the floating villages in Cambodia, and we went there. It was quite silly because we went there on like a sort of tour and saw the whole thing and it was really nice and then the next day we went on a boat ride um, to Batambang for about seven hours on a bus and we saw it all over again. In the end we spent um, two whole days um, looking at these floating villages and this is one of the houses um, that we saw. So I made this out of a photo and I was really pleased when I did this because I felt like the whole trip I was experimenting and doing really fun things and it was great but I really missed my 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 style I really missed the cross hatching and just the simple use of colour and although this particular one has a little bit of purple um, I don't know, it's mostly grey and orange and that makes me really happy for some reason um, This other one, I didn't post this one in, on Instagram because I, I posted the original photo that I used as a reference to make this um, but it's one of my favourites actually and when I show this um, sketchbook to my friends when telling them about my trip it's, it's one that always causes some awe and then they're like wow that's really good yeah so um, going to a place where um, they didn't ride elephants was uh, quite a priority for me because um, I don't agree with it I don't think um, animals uh, like such as elephants are um, really meant to be trained to do that. I don't think it's um, the weight that is the biggest problem. I think it's the training that they have to um, have in order to be safe for people and tourists to 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 ride them. So well, we went to a place where we didn't ride them, and instead we get to have a mud bath with them, and it was lovely. And the elephants seemed really happy. They never felt. It never felt like they were scared of the people who run the place. Um, on the contrary, they would come towards them when they saw them, obviously because we were carrying food. We never saw any um, aggression towards them and they all seemed really healthy and yeah, genu genuinely happy, we hope. So we went there and that was really good. And, and then I had um, a little bit of an experiment trying to um, learn how to do waterfall. So part of the day we um, went under a, a waterfall with the elephants and that was pretty magic. It was really good and then I was so inspired that I really wanted to draw it. So I tried drawing the waterfall but as you can see it's not very good. <laughs> Everyone kept asking me if it was plants, is that hair, what is that? And I thought well I better do it again. So after that we went to a different waterfall on a different day and then I tried again and actually this one was a little bit more successful. I still don't have it. I still can't say that I'm really good at drawing waterfalls but you, if you draw you know how hard it is to draw water and if you don't draw then you don't have a saying in this. So in Chiang Mai we also went to a ladyboy show 
and people who know me know that I'm really fascinated by all sorts of expressions of um, gender, masculinity, femininity and everything in between and um, I'm really interested in how people express um, uh, their sexual orientation but also their identity and, and their self um, through the way that they look. Um, so we went there and I find it absolutely amazing. So on the train back I did some sketches um, of the lady voice, voice that we saw on the show and they were all so fabulous, they were all so funny. And then I did some with colour just to make some effort. Um, but yeah, they were just amazing. And then we went to uh, Kuala Lumpur. And you probably recognize this, this is the Petronas Towers from Kuala Lumpur. I drew this while looking at the towers um, and it was sunset and we were told that there was a um, light show which never really happened and then it started to rain so we kind of had to rush out um, and Tom was growing really impatient because if you can see on, on, on this drawing there's lots and lots and lots of detail um, it's always the same thing, so it's like a pattern, but still it took me quite a long time to finish. And then we went to Penang, and in Penang I didn't draw that much, I don't think I draw almost anything in Penang. Um, but uh, we did go one day to a place called Monkey Island, or Monkey Beach, where I drew this. And this was really fun, I couldn't see much because the light was um, on my face, but it was just such an enjoyable day, it was really nice, and here I started feeling a little bit more comfortable. Now I feel like I, I've totally embraced um, working on both sides of the sketchbook, which for a lot of people would be like a pretty obvious thing to do, but it was something that I just wasn't doing. And this drawing is from um, actual Penang from Georgetown, so our hostel was this one, which is right next to the Reggae House Hostel. Um, so we could hear reggae all day, which I like, so that was good. Here I'm going to do like a big thank you to um, Tanya, uh, who's a fellow traveller and friend of mine, who advised us to go to um, China House to eat cake. We went there for like a little brunch and it was the most amazing thing I've ever tasted. I had the Mexican version of their brunch. And it had like amazing guacamole and tortillas and all sorts of like yumminess. And then we wanted to get cake and we didn't know which one because all of them look so incredible then that we just couldn't couldn't choose. And now I'm getting hum hungry so I'm gonna get my tea. And carry on, we went to Singapore and in Singapore it has a strong um, Chinese influence and we went to um, the Chinese opera and it was a really 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 um, strange experience. I had never seen it before. I didn't know what it was about and at the beginning I was a little bit um, taken aback by it but after the first 30 seconds I got really into it and I just thought it was beautiful. Um, at the beginning there was this lady who gave us a little intro about what um, Chinese opera is and how it has developed and what kind of elements it had and it all made sense and it was really really impressive so I was so inspired by them that I drew um, this lady, which is one of my favourites from this strip because of the level of detail that I uh, put into it and also because the costumes that they wore were super super colourful but I feel like I managed to capture that without using any colours except orange and black um, I barely use any grey in this piece as well um, and I think that's why it's one of my favourites and then lastly um, I think I kind of left the, the best for last, um, is this um, little guy um, from Singapore. I really like this, I made this on the plane back, um, which was quite a scary experience because I hate, 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 hate flying. I thought I'm going to leave um, something really fun to draw on the way and all the air hostesses started to look at what I was doing. One of them was from Singapore, she was really impressed and that was a really cool thing and it really calmed me down, although one of the flights was really choppy. To be honest, it wasn't choppy at all, but I find anything to be really choppy, so I was really scared. And yeah, that's the end of my sketchbook. So, in case you're interested in the technical stuff, this is um, Dalaro 
Dalaroni sketchbook. It's pretty battered, but it's survival right. To be honest, I'm not very careful with a lot of things, but it, it, it was fine. So I'm gonna keep this as my travel journal for this year because um, at the end of this week I'm gonna be going to Cornwall with my family and I plan to be sketching there as well. I'm also going to Paris um, later this month as well for the Euros. Yay! So I plan to draw there as well. So yeah, this is gonna be my 2016 sketchbook. So apologies if this video was a bit long. Um, I hope I didn't make it too boring. And I hope you like what I did. So yeah. So that's it. This was more ex this was more exhausting than I thought.